Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about birds and I'm going to show y'all the two birds that I picked for the video. So I hope y'all enjoy and yeah, let's get started with the video. And don't forget, I have chosen the house finch and I'm sorry, looking at my script, um, the blue jay. So I really hope y'all enjoy this video and we're going to start with the house finch first. So we're going to start with the house finch. Its scientific name is, I can see it, but I put it up for y'all so hope you can like see it. Um, you can always look it up and ask Google to translate it so it can say it for you. But anyways, here it is. So let's get down with the physical description. The house finch are small body finches with a fairly large beaks and some somewhat long flat heads. The wings are short, making the tail seem long. The comparison, many finches have distinctly knotted tails, but the house finch has re retality shallow notch in its tail. Now you might be asking, what is its trophic level? And I'm here to answer that. It is a secondary consumer, so yeah. And you might be wondering, what does it consume to be a secondary consumer? Well, this house finch consumes many things as in seeds, including buds of flowers, bees, bear, not bees, <laughs> sorry, um, berries, small fruits, and even just any seeds they can find. They also eat very small insects. But, of course, who, what bird doesn't? We're going to talk about its habitat. Its habitat is in the native range in the west. House finches live in natural habitats, including dry deserts, deserts and grasslands, and savannas, stream sides, and open forests, forests and elevations below 6,000. You might be wondering, who is this house finch related to? And I'm here to answer that for you. The house finch is closely related to the cassin finch, and here's the difference what they look like. House finch, cassin finch. It's purple finch, and then the fact that there are places in Washington where all, this, all these three species are found, and all three species are streaked, and the males have all three have red plumage. Let me get started with the facts about, so here are the fun facts for the house finch. First fact. The house finch has released Long Island many decades ago, saved by Langston. They were considered illegal, illegally caged, and such as people who held them in custody were to be prosecuted if caught. That's why a huge number of house finches were released in the area. This fact too, the house finches were originally founded all throughout the continent of North America. They have been introduced to other islands as well. Hawaii has its own population of house finches. Now they can be found in the main islands of the state. Hawaiian house finches have changed their color to yellow, red, and orange. In fact, the house finch is scientifically a community as the scientific name. Interestingly enough, the first word in the scientific name suits its feeding preferences quite well. A is in fact a Greek word for fruit eater, which the house finches eat small fruits and berries. Of course, like I stated earlier. Then again, we all know that house finches eat more fruits than any other bird. The fourth fact, in Hawaii, another name for a house finch would be a linnet or pape eater. Cause you might be wondering, why are they called a pape eater? It's cause they eat papes. This fact, and I know it's sad, but studies have been found a reason for a change in color of the Hawaiian house finches. It seems that the culprit in physiology stress as well as improper diet. So this is quite surprising as Hawaii has lots of lots and lots of veg vegetation that could serve as food, though the populations of a house finch seems to be doing well. This fact seems to be indicated by other ones enjoy those facts I'm going to show you some videos and pictures to show you how the house finch eats and walks and flies so hope you enjoy these pictures and videos and let's get started with them
，喂，我揾到，我揾到佢個佢個老公喺度食緊嘢。for the house finch. I really hope you enjoyed all that stuff about it, but we have to move on to the next bird. Do you know what it is? It's a blue jay. My favorite bird ever. And I was actually just watching a show off of it, so. Its scientific name is, of course I can't pronounce it, so I put it right here, so I really hope you can know what it is truly yourself. Now let's get with the physical description. Now this is pretty obvious, it's called a blue jay, so of course it's going to be blue, but I'm gonna get to the specifics. This is common, a common very bird, long, they are a large songbird, familiar to many people, which it's perky, crest, blue, white, and black plumage and noisy calls. Blue jays are known for their intelligence, complex, complex social systems with a tight family bond. Their fondness for acorns is created with helping spread oak trees and their last scholastic. Wondering what is their trophic level? They are a secondary consumer, so hopefully that helped you, and they, if they are a secondary consumer, what do they consume? Well, I'm here to answer that, of course, again. Blue jays consume many things, as such as they eat their own eggs. That's pretty weird. I know that's really, like, pretty weird. Um, this is a practice for their reputation. The fact they are largely vegetarian, so they... Their most of their diets composed of acorns, nuts, and seeds, though they also eat small creatures as in calipiters, grasshoppers, and beetles. How you can find these animals, so even like the house finch or the blue jay, you can easily just go outside and look. Now it might be harder to find a house finch because it's gonna be harder to specify, but a blue jay is really common anywhere. And if you live in South Carolina, then you're gonna find them really now, where do they live? So what is their habitat? The blue jays occupy some very, like, just many habitats. They are within a large range, of course, in the pine woods of Florida, the spruce fir forest in northern Orna. It is less abundant in the denser forests, though, preferring mixed woodlands with oaks and beaches. You're wondering, who is the blue jay related to? They are related to the Florida scrub jay, and here are they together, blue jay, Florida scrub jay. So if you can tell anything, but they are definitely family. So let's get started with fun facts for the Blue Jay. Really hope you enjoy these facts because these took me a long time to soak them in, spit them out for you. So I really hope you enjoy them. So we're gonna start with the facts now about the Blue Jay. The first fact, thousands of Blue Jays migrate in flocks along the Great Lakes of the Atlantic coast, but much more of the migrations remains in a mystery. Some were present throughout winter in all parts of their range. Young jays may be more likely to migrate than adults, but many adults also migrate. Some individual jays migrate south one year and stay north the next winter, then migrate south again the next year. So no one has worked out why they may migrate. Next fact, so fact two, blue jays are known to take take and eat eggs, nestings of other birds, but they don't know why common this is. Except the studies of the blue jay feeding's habits, only 1% of jays have evidence of eggs or birds in their stomach. Most of their diets composed of insects and nuts. Like I said before up there, it's really how they eat eggs and scientists still don't know why. So fact three, the blue jays frequently mi mimics the calls of hawks, especially the red-shouldered hawk. And this is what it looks like. These calls may provide information to other jays that the hawk is around, or they may use devices of other species into believing a hawk is present. So hopefully that kind of like, that's really smart though. Like birds, animals, just birds in general, they're smarter. Like they are so smart. I just, so next fact, fact four, blue jays use tools used for reported for a while, blue jays and blue jays, of course, but 
but captive blue jays use strips of newspaper to rake in food pellets from outside their cages. Like I said again, blue jays are so smart. <laughs> so the last fact I have for today, blue jays, blue jays lower their crest when they are feeding peacefully with family and flock members or attending to nest nestlings. So when they're doing this, they feel comfortable and safe around you. So if you ever come across a blue jay and they are lowering their crest, you should feel welcomed. Low, like I don't think they will do that to someone they don't know. But hey, you know, you could be Sleeping Beauty and, you know, animals love you. So let's just get the facts are over. So let's just get to the photos and videos so you can, I can help you see what Blue Jay does, eat and walk and fly. So I really hope you enjoyed this videos and photos. That's all I have for you today for Blue Jays and that's all I have for the video actually. I really hope you enjoyed it and come back for the ne not next week, but the next week after that. I really hope you enjoyed this. any questions please email this account right here about these bird stuff all information photos and videos were all cited in the little credits on rolling now